This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today it's getting exciting. Right back there we've got our new 360 imaging system mounted on the new Skeeter with our 1198. And I'm going to show you the new revolution in fishing. 360 imaging is a little bit different than side imaging. Side imaging we always were shooting sideways and down but the data always came from behind us because the transducer had to shoot and we had to move forward to create those picture-like images. Now with 360 imaging, we can look 150 feet in every direction, even forward. And that's what's revolutionary about this, is being able to see what's coming up before you get to it. This has been our down imaging and our side imaging. The first thing we need to do is go through the menu system. If you hit menu twice, you'll come to your accessories tab. If you you can scroll across with that key. First thing we got is our side image or 360 settings. You can choose your color palette, you can de the deploy speed, the range overlay, which is your the circles around, and we'll show this all this stuff, your boat icon, the depth of 360. And if you want to turn navigation on, navigation on will show you your waypoints as you create them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to deploy our 360 imaging. Our 360 imaging is deployed. I have it set on a preset hotkey and there it is. We'll go through some of the, the settings. Now with your menu and a split screen, you're going to have your active side, which is shown by the green arrow. You've got, we've got our active side. You can adjust your split screen to however much you want. If you want more three mapping than 360. On this case, I want just a little sliver of mapping and a lot of 360. Uh, your sensitivity. 10 is going to be factory default. I've already found that if you bump it up a little bit, it's going to help you identify fish, and that's what we're looking for. Um, your range, you can set your sweep range. And you see as we increase that, we increase this data here. I like setting it on about 120, 100, and 100 foot. Uh, you can isolate a sweeper by hitting here. You can adjust the position. As you can see, it's rotating. If you want to look 90 degrees to the right, there. If you want to change the size, you can adjust the size all the way down to 10 degrees. See how that opens it up? Then you can, you can adjust where you're wanting to look. See, the neat thing is we're setting still and we're still creating images, which was not able to do with side imaging before. We're going to leave it on, hey, check out that fish right there. There's a shadow from it. There's a fish right there that was behind the boat. Now, you can zoom in. See, zooming in, we got this fish right here. Look at that school of fish that just showed up. But we'll go back to our menu. There is some presets and display. You've got just the front. You can look at just behind you. You can look at the left side. Or you can look at the right side. For this example, we're going to do the 360. The next thing is your speeds. You can go slow. The slower the image, the slower the, the thing, the more detail you get. Uh, just like kind of side imaging. Then you got fine fast, you've got standard, you've got coarse fast, and you got the fastest. Each one of these, the fastest, look at the fastest refresh. If you were fishing a brush pile and you were watching the fish, this is what you'd probably want to use. You could you could watch some fish move in and out. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna lose some of your detail. There's a fish that showed up. I found that uh, for good idling, the, the standard speed, 
or you're fine fast if you want a little more detail. You can see there's another fish showed up right there. We got some a lot of fish out here on this uh, flat. Uh, then we have our enhanced settings. We've set our sensitivity like we set before. And then you've got a contrast setting. Contrast will help. You can adjust that to brighten the screen. We've got our uh, 360 sharpness like we had with down imaging and side imaging. This is a fish hunting tool. It's going, if you use it, the higher level you use, the more graininess it'll put to the image because it's highlighting. So I like to run it on low. Contour mode, just like on side imaging, we can we can turn it off and look just at the bottom below us. I'm going to leave it on because I like seeing the water column. Now one thing, we since we're now in the 360, we can come over here to our settings again. We can turn the boat icon, the overlays. See, that's your range rings. Uh, we're at four times zoom. Uh, 120 foot range. We've got 30, 60, 90, 120. So that helps you judge distance. Look at that road bed. You can turn the boat icon off if you want to see without it. You can adjust the maximum depth that the 360 imaging will look. You can turn navigation on or off. If we wanted to go over here and mark this road bed right here, I'm just going to set a waypoint on it. I'm going to hit mark. Now watch, that's our navigation. See our icon The far as the boat gets away? It's going to show where that icon was. So you know exactly the direction all this structure is. Now one of the features you can do, you can hit your menu button, go down here to SI360 Enhance, and you can turn contour mode on. And it'll take the water column out. And you can see now that you're seeing everything underneath the bottom. See the creek channel, you can see the bluff. We've got this bluff over here. This is where our creek channel is. A couple little drop ledges there. Now if you want to isolate a sweep, just hit your check mark button and it'll actually go back and just go back till you want to scan. There's our lay down. I want to go back and I want to look at it again. I want to just keep isolating that sweep. It'll keep refreshing those areas. Just hit check mark and you're back out of it. And it'll home itself back in and start over. There's one other feature I want to tell you about. Is our speed alarm. Go to your alarm menus. And right here, we're going to have our retract alarm. This tells us what speed we want 360 imaging to let us know that it's deployed. So when you get above idle speed, you can tell it to, that you've got the 360 retracted so it doesn't go too far. Or it doesn't stay down when you're taking off to not damage it. Now 360 imaging, you can get it on the full screen. But with your zoom button here, we can zoom one time, which gives us two times zoom, a four times zoom, a six times zoom, an eight times zoom, and a ten times zoom, twelve times, and that's max. And you can see it helps fill that screen up. Now here's one of the cool things. Here's the road bed. Here's our road bed here and we can see it exactly as it's developing over to the side. We know exactly from the boat position because the boat's right here. We can go in and turn on our boat icon again. And it's going to tell us exactly where that structure is right there. 
The big old tree we just come by. Using it in conjunction with Lake Master Maps is unbelievable. We're getting close to our creek channel here, drop off. Lots of timber. Look at the trees. Trees everywhere. And there's our road bed. As it gets ready to leave and goes over the river channel. If we had to refresh up, these are pretty much fish and trees out here. There's our edge of our creek channel. Right on with the Lake Master map. And look at the fish stacked up in that channel. Wow. And the bridge, the old bridge that's sunken. Uh, that was an old swinging bridge that uh, went across the river. You can see the steel right there starting as it's refreshing. We're on the other side of the bank. Look at the bridge abutment there where the bridge was on top. We went right across it. We know that was behind the boat. Everything here forward is in front of the boat. The last thing that you're going to need to know is retract. Hit retract. The 360 imaging unit is attract, retracted. And if you want to redeploy it, it'll ask you yes. So what did you think of the new revolution in fish finding? Hummingbird Electronics with revolutionary 360 imaging is going to help you find more fish be able to fish not only at the console but you can use it on the trolling motor and tune in and I'll show you later on how to use 360 imaging on the tr on the trolling motor to help you catch more fish it's going to be an exciting tool to give you real-time sonar readings not behind you but looking forward that is where 360 imaging is really going to become valuable is looking where you're casting and casting to where the fish are so thank you for tuning in check out more tips and tricks and the thing is get out on the water and enjoy your new investments thank you and tune in next time